Hello everyone, this is Jarrod and welcome back to another Let's Play Shogun 2 Total War. So, today we will be continuing our conquest of the Sioux forces. We did defeat the Yukita in the previous episode, so that is awesome. First I want to check if we have everyone's loyalty. Yes indeed. Doesn't seem like anyone has delusions of rancher because the Damio is already so well accomplished. We're gonna send out this captain force led by Ekechi Motoyoshi to take out the Sioux settlement led by Ido. Wait, is it Ido? Yes. Ido Mori. So quick victory and we will have taken West Asami. West Awami. Looks like there is a relatively large force defending here because it is a fortress and we can take Aki as well if we wanted to and we do want to do that so we're gonna continue our march to Aki by first attacking this small settlement here not a small settlement but a small force led by Sakanobe Fuyuhira so 600 men lost, but we shall be taking Aki soon enough after this. Right here, we will now take Aki. The reinforcing army came out to help, but then the garrison army was not enabled to hold them to assist in that previous battle, so that has helped us take this settlement with very minor casualties. And with that being said, we are marching very fast without enough men to garrison these newfound settlements. Oh wait, maybe we do have enough. There we go. Now we're gonna continue marching here to help. And I need to build the road, meager soil, let's ignore that for now, very fertile soil, so we're gonna build this, this, and this, build this place up, Numata is very profitable, and we also have, I'm gonna build, get some more Siari, as we are low on them, we've been sacrificing them more or less every battle at this point. So we're gonna slow down one turn? No, we can't slow down. We gotta keep on marching. So, gonna send this army out. We're not stopping until we get this the remaining settlements in this main island. And then we can build up our forces however we like, but until then, we are not stopping. We're just gonna keep on steamrolling the enemy. And building up our forces in these areas that will probably need them. Okay, let's do this. Or not? Wait a minute. Okay, we need to build up. Oh, they're blockaded. Oh no. That is terrible. Well, I'm going to build up that guy right here. We don't need that one right now. Barren soil. Ah, yes, I can build. This place seems like it would be a good place to put an encampment. Mainly because it's like right in the middle and there's a lot of land. A lot of land. So, we've been doing a lot of assassination kills. Send in the best of the best to kill the son and ear of the Kanbei clan. Target has been assassinated. And then we have this Metsuke here that needs to be taught a lesson. Or maybe I should assassinate these generals here. Well, yep, another general has been assassinated. 
new yeah, general takes his place as leader of this force. Enemy has been wounded, and now there's only a captain readily available to lead this force. Okay. We have two agents here, another Metsuke here. I'm gonna try and apprehend the enemy. Apprehension has failed. But it costs us nothing, so cannot assassinate the enemy there. And well, since we're here, we're gonna recruit some men and we're gonna end the turn here. So, Metsuke has leveled up. Some more sabotage by the enemy, enemy raids, and Aki. So let's see if we have anyone else we need to kill. Oh, looks like the Daimyo is next. And it, since it is the Daimyo, maybe we should watch this one. No, we're not watching it because of oh, that lantern. I'm watching it way too much. So we've killed everyone, with the exception of the sun and air, I think. Or maybe it was a general. I'm not entirely sure who it was that was remaining, but we're gonna kill this Metsuke. 43% chance of success. We might fail. And we failed. Send in another assassin. Oh, 47. Ch yes, it is enough. 47% is enough to take out this Metsuke. And now we rid ourselves of that hassle that has been sitting around our capital. Oh, monk disguise, I like it. Make him a better spy and also avoiding detection is a good one. So we have a lot of agents here apparently. Three agents all sitting over here. Overseeing the town as a magistrate. I'm gonna send this guy over here to administer that settlement. So they can get some benefits. What those benefits are, I don't actually remember. But I will find out soon enough. So we have about third well we had thirteen thousand income I think at the beginning of this turn. Or at least I thought we did. Well, no matter. We need to continue recruiting men and also marching west. And I keep clicking on the wrong one. There we go. That's the right one. That's the one I wanted. So we had a force right here. I'll send them over here. Send these archers right there to take care of that forced. Alright, we're just gonna quickly auto resolve this. Captain against captain. Defeat is imminent for them. We're trying to finish taking over this main island so that we can gather our forces together and attack and attack the other two islands. And it looks like we have the advantage. I'm just going to auto-resolve. This guy has five stars. He can handle this. This leader, this force himself. And he does. East Nagato is now ours. Peacefully occupy this settlement and repair all the things. And also get a Japanese merchant guild, which consumes two food. 40 food, we have to be careful not to get into another famine, but I think we'll be okay this time around. Don't have anyone defending this settlement, looks like. But there's no credible threat at the moment, so we will continue marching our forces west with this massive army over here. Just gotta be careful of ambushes, but... Oh. Oda Bushi. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm going to auto resolve this one as well, as I believe we have seen a fair amount of these battles in the previous episode, so we're just going to take the settlement, get take the perfect victory, peacefully occupy the settlement, and we finally have the Shogun's ire. 
our ever-growing renown makes the Shogun nervous. There are whispers upon the wind that he plots against our clan to halt our rise to power. We are now acclaimed, and we are seen as a potential threat, even though we've conquered like all of Japan at this point. Alright, but to be fair, we pretty much don't have any allies at this point. We have the Kanbei, and that's about it. And they aren't very helpful, because they don't do anything. So, may have overextended ourselves a little bit, but I believe it will be worth it in the end. We're just gonna have to keep on marching. This army was engaged with something, or maybe it was sabotaged. Yes, indeed, it was sabotaged by a notorious killer. The Sioux have a notorious killer. And now I cannot march that army out. So these forces are marching and marching away. I should probably get a Metsuke that will probably get killed very very soon. Probably in the next turn. But uh, I gotta I gotta recruit them, you know. Average soil. I'm gonna get these guys started. Get some sake dens. Since I have some extra money, and I'm gonna end my turn now. Okay, some more army sabotage has occurred. And we can also, ooh, yes, build some more farms on the very fertile soils. Average soil. Very fertile soil, and average. And let's get some roads. Average soil, that's okay. Average. And barren. Well. Stop looking at that for now. We do have this force right here. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Assassinate the Metsuke. Let's give that a shot. Enemy has been wounded. Now that the Metsuke is dead, let's try and kill the Daimyo. With the notorious killer. And mission has failed. And I will try to sabotage the army instead. Sabotage has failed. Okay, two more settlements until we conquer all of the main islands. Well, not all of it, but at least this significant, well not significant portion, but these last two portions. And we wouldn't have conquered the middle yet, but... That is what we will wait for. We will wait for the Shogun to make the first move. As we are fighting for the glory of the Emperor. Not for the Ashikaga Shogunut. The Emperor is being fought for. I fight this group first, and I should have done that. And we'll continue to auto resolve our way until we get the rest of this island. Because we don't technically need to fight these battles. And it's a close victory. Yamaguchi! And we'll peacefully occupy the settlement as well. <coughs> Our general has leveled up. He is now a level 4, I think. Yep, rank 4 general. Give him some more honor. And I also make him... Eh, more honor is good. And also make him a better warrior. Alright, so this settlement is very happy, which is good. Oh, I can recruit three at a time. Very good, even better. Send in some additional reinforcements. Metsuke, send some more scouts, more reinforcements. I guess we need to take out this small force right here. In fact, this is hardly a force. 103 men against 3,000. No match. Alright, continue marching. And West Nagato 
I cannot march back, so I will need to exempt them from taxes. There is a small force coming at us, but I think we will be okay. Don't have enough money to repair this settlement. And with all of the new soldiers I've gotten, I only have 9,000 income. Alright, so now we can kind of slow down. I suppose, at least for this turn, I'm gonna end it now. Consider this our offer, and do so with all your undoubted wisdom. So the Hanma want to have peace with us, so we're gonna make a counter offer. He's gonna have to become our vassal and also give us. Okay, fine. We'll take this. We'll become a vassal, a vassal, and also a peace treaty. As well as a trade agreement. You have spoken well, and I am persuaded. I will accept your offer. Okay, so the Hanma have also has also joined the Oda clan. Proof of might. A competent leader inspires unyielding resolve in his men whilst employing all of his skills and experience to help gain the upper hand. Deprive an army of its commander in the heat of battle and this advantage is lost. When doing battle with enemy forces we must take every opportunity to kill their generals. Eliminate any general in battle and you will get plus two morale for all units. Well then. Plus two commerce. It's gonna take a while. So seeing that we have taken the main island of Japan, Hanma forces have decided to join us as a vassal. Daidoji Kazuma. They have a significant force here, but I don't think they would have been able to handle what I was going to send them. I was going to send them a huge army. Would have destroyed them. At least that was that would have been the idea. So we have a new son that has been born, Uda Nagamori. Now let's see who he is under. Oh wow! They got two kids now and Nobunaga has four kids. Oh man, making babies like crazy over here. Look at him, four children! And he's only 22! Wife is 31. You got a wife that's 21, a little bit older, okay. And we will accept. Alright, so we've pushed the Sioux forces off of the main island. Now we're going to need to get reorganized and then prepare our next assault. First, we need to unexempt these guys from taxes. What? Only 163 from income? Wow, so little money. I can also do Japanese Merchant Guild. Too much food is being taken. However, let's step back a little bit and see how many clans there are right now. Everyone's hostile with us, even our, our vassal. We have many armies here, you can see that we have a ridiculous amount and several fleets and this is the most important thing I, I would imagine is that the provinces and how much food they, they produce and also how much 
food that they take. So this is the surplus amount, this is the amount that they need to import. So South Tango needs to import food because they have a fortress. And you see the income of each settlement, which is quite a lot. So it's Koku instead of gold. And other provinces not owned by us, but by the Koreans and also some of the other settlements. Kyoto makes 4,500 Kyoku. I'm just gonna call it gold as it's a little easier on the top. 10,000. I will need to go through the settlements and give them additional farmlands. Despite them being meager soil, I do not want a famine to occur. However, we're out of money here, so I'm gonna end the turn. Okay, so more sabotage has occurred. Trade agreement has ended with Hanma for some reason. Oh well. What does that mean? Are they no longer our vassals? They are, but they don't want to trade with us anymore. That's weird. Wow. I will listen to you. I'm just going to assume something is broken and ignore that. So, we did get raided. I am going to build up my forces again over here. As we do need some additional men. Looks like my reinforcements are coming. We're gonna gather up and then we're gonna march on over. Okay. Where is that other army? Oh, it's right here. So these guys can start marching. Another big army over here. And we have meager soil. Might not make too much sense to get the meager soils at right now because we do have a ton of other settlements that could probably use it. Fertile soil, there you go, see? Average. Average. Yeah, fertile. And you build some roads. Some more roads. Alright, so this will beef up our economy enough so that we can do some things in the future, like invade Korea. But this will also help with this new war right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna continue our march and end the turn here. Okay, so enemies have not done too much during that AI turn and they have not a very significant force here. We're just going to run them over. And then this army will replenish here. And we're going to engage these fools right here. Right, quickly auto resolve. Cut them down. Take the island for our own. Kill them off over here. Oh, apparently not. These guys are now stuck. Large army over here, it's waiting. Alright, so we've secured this island from the enemy, more or less, and we These guys are getting antsy, I would hope. As we're about to attack, and basically secure all of the main island. Ooh, Yikisho ninjas. Our ninja has been detected. Let us assassinate the daimyo again. 
The two Damio has survived the assassination attempt. 49%. Assassination has failed. 37%. The odds are just not with us. And failed. All three attempts have failed. We have one, two, three, four armies kind of just hang out there. Much I use them to much better use, but we are not doing that, so I'm just gonna build up some farms. And we're out of money, so I'm gonna turn here again. Okay, it looks like a little large battle here, however. It's worth the 29 minute mark and these guys are not gonna win regardless, so we're just gonna steamroll them out here on the battlefield. With a quick auto resolve. Alright. Close victory. Still managed to win. Probably would have won regardless. Whether we decide to fight on the field or not resolve. Alright, some more sabotage. Lots of sabotage. Okay, so it looks like we're out of time here. We're at about the 30 minute mark, so I would like to thank you guys all for watching, and we'll see you next time! Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord!